At the end of the World Championships 2023 in Korea, it was announced that the host city for WCA Worlds in 2025 would be in Seattle, USA. The WCA Every World Cycle publicly releases the applications of host cities, and I wanted to take some time to highlight a lot of the positive direction these applications pointed in for making cubing a more spectator-friendly event. As someone who's a shill for making cubing a spectator-friendly event, it was nice to see that in Seattle's bid, they included a whole section on streaming by saying, as Cubing USA has done at the last few US nationals, we plan to host a high quality live stream to present the competition to the global community. We have relations with several existing groups capable of producing this stream that we will consider working with, and we'll evaluate other self-produced options as well. In my opinion, Cubing deserves high quality streams in order to show how great it is to the world. The stream is usually the lasting impact the competition has on the community, as it is always there in the archives for on-demand rewatching. If we look at the other bid for Kazakhstan, I absolutely love their enthusiasm for growing the sport. The proposal included a four-stage plan that included hiring a PR team, hosting a warm-up competition, having masterclasses in guerrilla-style cubing proselytization in the streets and shopping centers for a week, and giving participants pre-prepared tourist excursions. The way the cubing community is moving in a direction to make large fun events out of world championships and other large competition gives me a lot of hope for the future of this community. Both bids to world seem really cool, and I hope World in Seattle will be amazing in 2025.